This video is sponsored by Queensboro.com. Based in sunny Wilmington, North Carolina, Queensboro partners with small businesses to create custom embroidered and screen printed apparel and promotion products that help them showcase their business to the world. They have one of the best customer service teams out there and they stand behind their products with a guaranteed perfect promise. If you use the link in my video's description, you'll receive a massive discount plus a free logo setup and free shipping. Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a realistic looking tattoo to skin. This is an update of tutorials I've done on earlier versions of Photoshop. I provided this image that you can download as well as this tattoo design so you can follow along. Their links are located in my video's description or project files below. The first step is to make and save your subject as a displacement map which will enable our tattoo design to wrap itself around the contours of the body. To do this, make a copy of the layer by pressing Ctrl or Command J. Displacement maps work best when they're blurred. Go to Filter, Blur, and Gaussian Blur. I'll blur it 6 pixels. If you're using a different image, you may want to use a different amount in order to blur it approximately this much. Go to File, and Save As. Save it to a location that's easy to find. I'll save it to my desktop. Name it Displacement and save it as a Photoshop PSD file. Then click Save. If you see this message, just click OK. Now that we've saved the displacement file, we can delete it from our Layers panel. Press the Delete key on your keyboard. Open the Tattoo Design. We want to separate the art from the white background. There are many ways to do this, but for this example, first, click the lock icon to unlock the layer. Open the Channels panel. If you don't see it, go to Window and Channels. Control click or Command click the thumbnail of the RGB channel to make a selection of the tattoo design. Open back your Layers panel and press the Delete key on your keyboard to delete the white background. To deselect it, press Ctrl or Command D. We'll convert our tattoo design into a smart object, which will allow us to adjust, change, or modify the filters that we'll be adding to it at any time. Click the icon at the upper right of the Layers panel and click Convert to Smart Object. To place the design onto our photo, Make sure your Move tool is active by pressing V on your keyboard and dragging the design onto the tab of the photo. Without releasing your mouse or pen, drag it down and release. To adjust its size and position, open your Transform tool by pressing Ctrl or Command T. Go to a corner and when you see a diagonal double arrow, Press and hold Alt or Option plus Shift as you drag it out or in to a size you like. To reposition it, go inside the bounding box and drag it. If you want to angle it, go back to a corner and when you see a curved double arrow, rotate it to an angle you like. Then press Enter or Return. Go to Filter, Distort, and Displace. I'll displace it 15 pixels, however, feel free to experiment with the amount. Tick Stretch to Fit and Repeat Edge Pixels. Click the displacement file that you saved earlier and click Open. Immediately, the tattoo wraps itself around the contours of your subject. Change its Blend Mode to Soft Light. I'll reduce its opacity to 90%. You can adjust it later if you want. Double click the gray area of the tattoo layer to open its layer style window. 
click Color Overlay and change its blend mode to Linear Burn. Click the color box and pick a color for your tattoo. The hexadecimal code for mine is 007EFF. I'll make its opacity 50%. I'll click Outer Glow to blend in an optional subtle skin redness that you often see on healing tattoos. The color that I chose for this particular image is 440503. The blend mode is normal, the opacity is 50%, and the size is 3 pixels. Lastly, to hide areas of the tattoo, click the layer mask icon to make a layer mask next to the tattoo layer. Open your brush tool and brush picker. I'll make the size 25 pixels, the hardness 0%, and the opacity and flow 100%. Brush over the areas of your subject where you'd like to hide the tattoo. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.